In this video, you'll learn how to use multiple keyboards in your main stage rig. Let's check it out. It can be fun and useful to use more than one keyboard during your worship service. Let me show you some of my favorite ways to use them. The first way that you can use two keyboards is to have some piano and pads just set up on the 25 key and have different sounds set up on your main keyboard. Another thing that you can do is to adjust the octaves or even to transpose certain sounds that are on this keyboard so that you can get some of the low end even though you only have 25 keys. Let me show you what you can do. The second way takes a little more practice, but you can play both at the same time. Sometimes it's nice to set it up so that you just have one particular sound on the smaller keyboard. You might have a synth, um, and what I'm gonna use is a piano layered in with a synth, and then I'm gonna have some arps going on the main keyboard, and you can do these all at the same time. Let me show you. And if you're tired of bringing your full rig to church, you can play whole songs just on this little keyboard. Let me show you how. Adding a second keyboard to your main stage concert is really easy. Let me show you how to do it. 
I've got the Keyboard Minimalist Concert open in Main Stage. You'll want to go over to Layout Mode and add a second keyboard with the amount of keys it has. First, I'm going to go ahead and assign the main keyboard. You can adjust the layers. And you'll want to make it smaller so that the small keyboard can fit in there as well, the second keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and just delete those and I'm just going to add the sustain pedal over here for the main keyboard. And you just drag it where you want and usually you have to resize to make it look, look right and then go ahead and assign it and you'll want to assign your mod wheel as well. Okay and then you can add a second keyboard. If you see down here you can actually choose one of these. Mine's 25 so I'm just going to select that. And you'll need to resize it so it'll fit. And I'm going to make this still show four layers. But you can adjust this if you want to. Okay, and then I have to do the same thing with the small keyboard. I have to assign it to. Okay, so that's all looking good. You can also assign the mod wheel on the other keyboard if you like. You can also do it to a different knob or fader. So now we can look at our sounds that we want to use. Right now I just have this classic electric piano loaded in. And what you can do in the channel strip is tell MainSage which keyboard you want to play the sound. So if I select the channel strip and I go to the MIDI input tab and I click over here where it says keyboard, you can see that I have the Keylab hooked up, that's the larger keyboard, and then I've got the MPK Mini set for the other one. And so you can actually choose if you want one of these keyboards to play the sound or both. So if you want both to play the sound, you can actually select this multi-timbral. And you select the second one. So now, they're playing on both keyboards. All right, I'm gonna change that back so that this electric piano sound is just on the key lab. You can also have one sound on one keyboard and a different sound on the smaller keyboard. So in this case, I might like to have a pad just on the smaller keyboard. So what you'll wanna do is add a channel strip and then you can select the sound that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this warm pad too from Sunday Keys that I really like. And same thing, you might then put this on just the smaller keyboard the MPK. So now I just have the pad here. And now if I want, I could play both keyboards at the same time. So that's all there is to it. If you own Sunday Keys, this process is already done for you and you just need to import the two keyboards alternate layout. Click the help button inside Sunday Keys to watch that tutorial.